And after the KMT's election defeat, Premier Mao Zhigui immediately offered his resignation and said he would not be persuaded to stay on. President Ma Ying-jeou gave a congratulatory phone call to President-elect Tsai Ing-wen and once again mentioned giving the party with the legislative majority the right to form a cabinet. However, Tsai refused, saying such an action would be unconstitutional. At the entrance of Mao's apartment block, security guards could be seen in the morning, but Mao didn't leave home. The night before, when the KMT was defeated in the presidential election, he immediately offered his resignation to Ma over the phone, stressing that he would not be persuaded to stay on. Ma also took the opportunity to discuss this with Tsai when he rang her to congratulate her. He asked Tsai once again if a cabinet could be formed by the party with the legislative majority and that he hoped Tsai could come to the presidential office to discuss it. However, Tsai refused his suggestion. We do not believe that a government framework should be based on a controversial sort of uh, controversial decision. And as a result, we feel that this is a decision that is best left to um, constitutional reform discussion in the future. Tsai supports amending the constitution and then looking at the issue. However, the new legislature is inaugurated on February 1st, and there is a long four-month period before the new president takes office. The cabinet will probably not sit idly by. Tsai pushed the right to form a cabinet back to Ma. She thinks a caretaker cabinet should carefully observe and respect the new legislature. 